These first couple of clips are mostly just reference for me for when I go to put things back together. I've got an idea of where things came apart from, but it does also show some before stuff. Well, so, little update on the camper. No window, as you can see. Um, I got cabinets out, and I was working on taking the window trim off on the inside so that I could work on pulling the paneling off. And then I found that the walls are foam board, Luon, and fiberglass sandwich. That means that I might not be able to rebuild this. Or if I do, it's gonna be a little more intensive than I was expecting and hoping for. Guess I'm gonna find out. Worst come to worst, I might just turn this into a four-wheeler hauler. And then I'll haul the old Rambler behind it. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet to be determined. So as it turns out, the exterior wall is a great big fat fiber trash and wood sandwich. What they did in the factory is they had the foam board laid down or whatever. They put the fiberglass on it, put the plywood and everything else, the Luon on it, and cut it out. And that's the wall. I don't know if there's any framing at all in the walls. So unfortunately, I now have to dig into the ceiling and see if it's the same thing. I don't know if it is, but if it is, then I might be up Pooh Creek. And in that case, I have a glorified four-wheeler hauler that I'm gonna try to put some sort of a kitchenette and bathroom in, I think, because Literally, it will not be. Unless I can figure out a way to rebuild it, it will literally be good for nothing. The body will not be good for anything, so I'll have to figure out something else with it. Or junk it, which seems like a shame because it runs good. But I don't know what to do just yet. So I'm going to dig into it a little bit more and see what I can figure out, I guess. So, more has been done. Um, I think I've decided to try and reframe and restructure and continue the rebuild. So that means that things like that are getting replaced. Uh, I bought some epoxy. I'm going to try and re-adhere the wall in spots where it's delaminated. Inside, started tearing apart up there. Found even more major rot. <laughs> Um, pulled the carpet out, more rot. That wall's not bad, but it did delaminate, so we're going to pull the paneling off and replace what needs to be replaced. Um, again, more delamination, more than rot there, so I'm just going to pull that off and replace. Um, this part of the ceiling is the worst. Um, the back does have a little bit of... Um, Delamination, so I'm going to look into that and see what's up back there. But this is the worst areas. Um, I do have some delamination there that I got to figure out. But this is the worst of it, so I'm going to try and focus on this and uh, see what I can rebuild. Got all the seats out, got the seat belts out over here. Like I said, got all the carpet ripped out. We're running out of dumpster space. But. Not really a video type thing here. It's more of updates than anything, I guess. Not a whole lot of video progress to show. Having an unwinning battle with ants. 
but pulled a lot of the wall paneling off. And where the walls are really bad, scratching that stuff off the exterior fiberglass. The whole ceiling in the bunk is torn out. A lot of the framing is broached up here, so it needs to get replaced. Put myself this nifty little step so I'm not standing on the seats. And then we'll clean up. Quite the pile of trash in here right now. Just doing a little spring cleaning up here. Uh, I wasn't looking forward to seeing this. That's some very gnarly looking stuff. But now I better understand how it was put together. So maybe I can better repair it. And get it jacked up and stuff. Well, fashioned myself a little jig. And now I'm going to try and lift the wall. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Can you see that over there? I just got to find out where it stops making sense.